so I have those physical things, which would have made being an artist ridiculous, but I still wanted to give it a go. I wanted to go and do the training. And what, 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 you know, while that didn't pan out, um, obviously, what I did learn there was how to inhabit a character. You know what I mean? How to write. So that's why all, all my books are written as first person narratives, no matter how many characters. But can we talk specifically about going to the dark place? What is that like for you? And how does it's 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 funny? You know, I, I I I literally just imagine what it would be like to to get into the mindset of a sociopath and to have no filter because he's talking to himself when he's talking to the reader he's talking to himself and he is rationalizing there's a logic behind everything that he or she does a written female psychopaths as well there's a logic there's a rationale there's a a provocation a perceived provocation for for all of their actions so it it really is getting into the head and it's it's, in some ways it's kind of liberating because you can be really really nasty and it means that when you put close the laptop you're free Mm -hmm. and it's almost like if you're of if you're if you were prone to kind of violence that you would get a punch bag and take take the aggression out on on the punch bag so that you know you wouldn't be punching people in real life and I think when I'm writing, I can get that darkness out, out onto the page so that in my real life, and I think this is true of a lot of crime writers, we, the crime writers that I know are, have the best sense of humour, they're great fun on night out, you know, I think, uh, and I think it is because we get the, that darkness out onto the page.